Greetings and welcome back to Against the Storm. I'm Catherine of Sky and we just started our brand new colony in the last episode. We are making quite a lot of progress. We have some stuff to do though. Uh, mostly, let's see, this scavenger's hut could really use some roads to the main thing over here. I would love to kind of like make that happen for them because this would be a little bit more convenient to go to our main storage area. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll kind of eh, just get those sneaky trees out of here. There we go. All right. And then we'll minus these trees. Actually, you know what? If we take out all of these trees, it would actually be better. I think we need to do that, especially to get the farmland back. But we also have this area that we want to cut down as well and going over here too. So let's see, we are in, okay, next clearance in two minutes. So we should be okay, I think. Wait, or is the clearance the major storm? I can't remember. I think the clearance is the sunny storm and that's the one that usually appeals. All right, so we got our employees last time, but we did not, did not go ahead and get our groupings of villagers. I'm gonna go ahead and take probably, oh man, I wish that we had beavers and humans, but I'll take the humans. Um, Let's see, what do we got here? Hunter-gatherers, all right, camps production in, is increased, but buildings with fertile soil is, no. Rainwater is getting heavier. No, I don't wanna do that. Rainwater can now be distilled even more effectively. Oh, gain four crystals for every 10 produced. Wow. This is kind of amazing because we don't even need the secondary facility. I think that's really good. I think we're going to do that. And we're going to build a rain collector just for this purpose. I think that is going to be our ticket to earning some money to trade with the trader. So let's add that. Um, has this farm been done? Yes, it is. Okay, let's add humans. There we go. And I guess we do everything. Let's see, what's in our packs of crops? I've kind of forgotten about that. What we need for this. So pack of crops is roots. Ooh, all right. We do have roots somewhere, I think. Do we? Hold on. Roots, hello. I keep on thinking like, huh, was it in the other game that I saw those roots? I think it was in the other game. I think it was in the other city. Okay, so no more roots, no roots. All right, let's go. And just see where we can go with stuff. Okay. This is being chopped, chop, 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 go, go, go. And what do we have here? We have fertile soil and nests. Okay, not ideal. It's something though, I guess. And then we have this area as well. Oh, we have an emergency in this area. We do have roots in this area though, so that's great. Um, we have clay. This one we have also clay, but nothing extra there. So what do we have here? We have some fallen lizard hunters. All right, let's get a lizard here and we'll also get a human. We need 30 logs. We have the 30 logs quite easily there. And what do we want as a bonus? So we can either get half a point and 10 amber, or we can get some plant fiber and some coats. I think we go to this gets this stuff. We get the amber. I like this better, this idea better. We'll take this and just kind of go into this area. We also have a small cache here. Wow, six, six tools. I don't know if that's gonna happen. We'll see. We'll see what we get kind of from the trader. So Trader has just left apparently. Didn't even tell me she was coming. I'm so, yeah, disheartened. Sad times. All right, um, what else we got? We got veggies and grain here. We need packs of crops. Yeah, the roots, we need the roots though. So these people, we only have one square and that has how many charges? 10. So if we get another person there, it would be good can get one person after this lizard situation has been taken care of. Oh, this would be fabulous to share that with this area. Wow. All right. I do want to, I'm going to chop all these trees. I'm going to get all of them out of here. I'm going to move the woodcutters camp over here. Yes, that's good. And that's going to work. I think that's going to be really good actually. So we're gonna need roots for those packs of crops. What are we surviving on now? Looks like beetles. Every time we open a new section, it's more beetles. That's good. 
That is very good. I want to clear this section so we actually have some a place for yeah people to live. This is pretty decent as well. Okay. How are we doing down here? We got a little bit of an area there with mushrooms, but not much else. This woodcutter is... Okay, they moved over there and this one is working here. But I do want to get this road here sorted. Gosh, okay, there's a lot to do. Let's, um, yeah, let's just let them cut down the trees in their range. I think that's the way to do this. My crops going, things happening. Five pottery a minute. I don't know where that pottery is going. Okay, here's our 65 pottery. Okay, that's okay. It's not too bad. Why is this not working? Hello, help. Oh, they have uh, finished. And now they're just carrying the amber back. Okay, that's fine. That is good. Happy days are here again. This is good. Happy days. Okay. Got lots of stuff going on. Do we have any extra beavers? No. Okay, so we did have an extra lizard person. And I think we were going to make them work... Where exactly was it? Ah, yes, we were gathering eggs there. That was an interesting idea. Uh, lizardy person... Oh, yes, they were going to work here. That's right. Okay. Because we wanted to get the last of that stone camp. And is that all? Okay, there we are. It's nice that there is a message. So if you're far away, you can also click on it and it will drag you there very, very slowly. <laughs> but it does take you there eventually. I'm going to move this camp right here as soon as they finish chopping this tree. So that is going to be... Oh, there it goes. Okay. So let's move this. And this is going to be between these two areas here. I think that's a good spot. And that way I can put a path in front of it and have this path intersect that way and then maybe have a new area for housing or whatever over here. Okay, we do have some people unhoused, so let's put this upward in priority. I think, let's see, let's take a road Edisa way. Like that, and then I can build maybe some houses. Let's build one here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the path of that road so it goes this way, and then have extra space on the other side. Oh, whoops. Sloppy. There we go. Okay, housing, shelter. Let's go here. All right, good, good, good. Excellent. All right, that's cool. Alrighty. Last big tree down over there. It's kind of nice to like have these areas. I might even cut down this middle section there. I feel like that would be a good thing. Okay, so we are in... Uh, next storm in 105. Wow, that's eh, not, not enough time. I guess we can do like a couple trees. Like the f trees on the front line here. And just leave the last trees like this, kind of. Eh. Okay, there we go. All right. You can cut down three trees. <laughs> Would be much easier with like a square one tile thing. Yeah, please. <laughs> All the things. Yay. We want, we need, we need stuff. All right. And this uh, place is going to make... Hopefully veggies. Are they? Oh, that's harvesting season. That's right. Okay. So anyway, we're actually set up really good for stuff. I'm really excited about things here. Uh, oh, this is looking quite nice as well. We can get a farm in here. Uh, let's do that. Let's get a farm. Farm, farm, farm. Which is in the farming section. Mm -hmm. That helps us immensely if we actually put it in the right spot. Uh, all right, so road can go this way and probably around these eggs for now. And then we can also build farm fields. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the slowness has come. And I think it's time to set up a trade route. Let's go and look at our trade routes. Okay, so what do we have here? We have uh, the city. Oh, we don't have the place giving us raincoats anymore, so that's not good. Let's take... Hmm. We have... What do we have? Wow. We don't actually have a lot of stuff, do we? 
We have wood. We have we have some grain. Maybe we take the grain for now and get spices. Spices are going to make human and lizards happier. So let's just do spices and just kind of give them a little bit of happy. And I think that will work okay. Uh, but no, no raincoats. We don't actually have raincoats. So this is not ideal. I would love to get a raincoat kind of trade route thing going on or something. So she's going to come soon, I believe. And it seems like it costs more money. Trader won't arrive during the storm, so we got to wait for that to finish. Um, okay, so this area is effectively done for what we have done. So I want to go ahead and just move it down so that we can get this done and connect that road to this little building here. Because I think it's a good idea. Good idea. But everybody's moving slow because of that debuff. It's this one here. The downpour units move 40% slower. Oi. Okay. We definitely need to get some hammers here. Hopefully we can get Trader to bring us some or something. Because this is rough. Really rough. Need to get some... Definitely some crops going on here. That is super, super important. Let's go ahead and put this on high priority. Okay, and let's see here. Oh, wow, there's, there's stuff in the way. Hooray. Let's take this that way. Newcomers are waiting, and we have a cornerstone as well. I was waiting for that tree to go down. I thought it was going to go down. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Beavers are always nice. They do a lot of stuff for us. Cornerstone. Okay. We have wine production, uh, which doesn't do much for us. Goods produced in a brewery, which also doesn't do much for us because we don't have a brewery. Trade logs. Let's see. Traders will now arrive 25% quicker. And packs of trading goods will be sold for 25% more. Oh my god. That is actually really good. Because uh, I don't think we have a brewery. Mm. No, we don't. So, I think we're going to take that. I think we're going to take it. So let's take that first. Trade logs. And so, if we sell packs, they're going to give us more for it. Which, we're wanting packs of crops anyway. So this is good. Uh, packs of crops are roots. We actually need, uh, let's see, stone cutters camp and herb garden. Ah, yes, we're getting roots here, so that's good. Hopefully, we're going to actually get them <laughs> at some point. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the packs and leave it at, we need 25 for trading here. Wow. Uh, okay, so limit 25 for those, and then... Herbs we're not going to get right now. Let's see what we got for orders. Okay, we have more, more packs of crops and farm fields. We can do the farm fields. We get plus one grain production. That's pretty decent. We get four from every square whenever we plant. This is a lot of building materials, but we get what? Villager movement speed is increased by 10%. We also get more parts and clay. Huh. This is probably easier, considering the amount of roots we found is almost zero. So I'm thinking this could be good to get. On the other hand, we do have the grain perk. So, all right, we'll take this. We'll take that. All right, cups and glasses. We have brewery and tavern, which, uh, yeah, we have, yeah, ale production would be great. <laughs> but we don't actually have a tavern yet. Um, let's see. But it's, yeah, part of the other thing. They're both actually ale production. Oil is nice, too. We'll take that one. Okay. So industry, if we have a mine, can only be placed on coal and ore veins. I have not seen a single coal or ore vein anywhere. So I don't think that would be great. Luxury, yeah, we might as well take that one. Because I'm more confident in getting a luxury building than I am finding an ore vein. Because I have never seen them. It's it's a weird, weird thing, that. Okay, so let's see. Clearance. Ah, clearance is next. So let's just take out these trees here. I'm going to go ahead and just do uh, the path. Path trees. 
This one looks like it has... Oh, it actually had only one left there. It's kind of sneaky the way those are. Uh, anyway, let's see. We can also maybe take these ones out. Sure. It's something. Okay, so now... We have our woodcutter here. Let's see, let's force the delivery now. I don't know actually if moving, if you can move it during the delivery process or if the logs will get carried over. I guess they probably would. But anyway, I'm gonna move our building out here. Uh, yeah, I might as well just do one at a time, I guess. And we'll go ahead and just get this farmland because I feel like that's more important then not okay there we go I think that's actually right all right let's move it down move it down here we really need some roots I want roots come on guys we need roots okay what did we find here nothing berries we're gonna really be relying on these roots, my goodness. Okay, it's fine though. It'll be fine. We just gotta be be positive and be happy. Okay, this is almost done. Hooray. Oh, did I forget to look at the what the trader had? I did. I saw her as well. I was like, oh, geez. Okay, it's fine. No worries. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, road. I think I'll build a road, kind of... Let's build it on this... Uh, eh. No, let's build it up here. Like this, I think. Because the woodcutter's house is not uh, useful to us at all. Okay, let's keep on looking here. What else are we gonna find? Okay, we found another group of meat, meat snails meat snails. <laughs> yes, what other kind of snails would they be, you ask? Hmm. Uh, Alright, let's move the woodcutter's hut again. We'll put it up here this time. And go into... Why is that square unhappy? Oh, it's a road there. Okay. Eh. Just move it here then. Okay. And we'll get this section over here cleared. I guess I should actually clear this way instead of, like, sideways. Let's just clear up like that, because that'll give us more building space. And it's actually three by three wide, so it gives us a road and one two by two building if we want to, you know, get them. All right, keep on going, guys. Keep on building. Get all the things. I'm wondering if this forest area doesn't even have uh, coal and ore veins. I kind of had that thought. I'm like, huh, I wonder if we actually have access to that. Okay, we have 25 amber. We don't have... I'm really surprised we don't have any copper. I guess these uh, stones don't have copper. No copper chance. Hmm. It's kind of a random thing with that. Okay, and some herbs available, possibly. So we need to do packs of crops. Are we actually building those? We need six roots for that. We don't have any roots. Why don't we have roots? Why are we not like... I guess we're eating all the roots probably. Because our beavers have been collecting them. We've collected 11 roots so far. So I don't know what's going on with this. I do feel like we may need some more like uh, houses collecting meat though. Uh, let's see. What do we need for this? Oh, we need some humans here. Ray, let's get our humans on this project so for these snails what do we want for this trappers camp do we have that no okay time to start getting more cards all right a uh, pack of crops we desperately need those i think what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna buy some roots and that's what we have to do i think because we aren't actually getting many roots here you know what i maybe i should start this building just put someone here. Let's see if you don't want... You, you're you happy here. Beaver's happy. Hooray. And let's see. Do we have beavers in all of these camps? No. We need to have beaver here. And this one, beaver, is happier. But I think we'll have them even happier here. 
And then is this one inhabited by beavers? Yes, it is. Cool. Good, good. Okay, so let's see. What do we got next? Storm in soon. Kind of worried that they're gonna... They're gonna open this within the storm, and that's not good for us. Did they open it now? Is it open? Open? Hello? Why? Yes? No? Let's see. What is that one with the opening the glade? For three minutes. Yeah, that would be very bad. What is our global resolve? Let's see. It is... It doesn't say to us, does it? Oh, it's plus six. So, yeah. Minus five would be extremely bad. Let's see. Is that going to open? Please? Yes! Haha! <laughs> Before the storm! Hooray! <laughs> okay, we got a clay deposit, which is big, a small cache, and fertile soil. This gives us copper. Oh, that's what we need. Happy days are here again. Okay, cool. This one opens with hammers, which is inaccessible for us at the moment. Aye. What do we have here? Pottery, jerky. Do we have... Do these produce insects or meat? Uh, meat. Darn it. I want insects. I want to, to eat all the insects. <laughs> we want to eat insects. It's fine. Really. We planned this. Uh, okay, so let us get these farm fields organized. There we go. This is our woodcutter's hut. So I think... I think we take the woodcutter's hut. Where do we do... Oh, what do we do with this? I don't know. I think we move it and have like a circle road here. So let's move this hut this way and just... Add a swathe of uh, places here. There we go. And just open places up for now. It's definitely more difficult like without the trading routes. So, oh, slow down, slow down. Slowing down, currently slowing down, yes. Okay. So are we making crops? Sometimes. Maybe. We don't actually have any yet. But we are getting roots every now and again, I guess. I'm wondering if I should make another stonecutter's camp and have it up here to gather this stone uh, because of the copper content. Do we have a smelter? We have the furnace, which makes copper bars. Um, and we can produce the tools, actually. We can produce those. Let's see, who do we want here? Maybe a beaver. We actually want the beaver here, I think. But it's okay. We'll, we'll take the lizard for now. Okay. Folks at this area. And the trader has come. Hooray! All right, let's see if we have anything here. All right, we have a minute till the other thing unlocks. Okay, infused rainfall. No biscuit diet. Oh my god, these are all horrible. I'm not a fan of the global resolve decrease at all. And the sloppy wood cutting. Hmm. I don't know how many logs they use or they get per cut. And I don't know how many logs are used per second. So that's hard. I think we're going to go biscuit diet just to be safe on this. Um, I think I'll wait on employees until after we have the last perks. Uh, but trader. Hey trader, how you doing? How you doing? We have, let's see, ancient spring plus two to coats production. We don't have any coat production at all. Foragers camp. Vegetables, insects, and grain. We have some veggies around. I don't know if we have insects, though. Villager movement speed increased. That's actually really good. And she has three coats production, two coats production. Okay. Well, let's see. Do we need this foragers thing? Do we have it? We don't have it. We don't have many things that need a forager. These are herbalists. Um, those are broccoli over there. 
I don't think we actually need it. Scavengers is good over here as well. But yeah, we don't have anything else. I think we're actually kind of done there. I think, we're, yeah, I, yeah. Hmm. Maybe the movement speed increase is worth it. I think that might be what we get. Yeah, why not? Let's get the movement speed increase. It definitely doesn't hurt. Uh, we could buy more amber. We could buy lots of other things. What do we need? We actually need roots, don't we? We need a whole bunch of roots. Let's buy the roots because that's going to make those packs for us. And we can trade it maybe for... What do we want to trade it for? Mm, let's do some insects, I think. Let's do, you know, some insects and then some wood. Okay, let's make that a little bit more. Like a hundred... Three? Uh, almost, almost, hello? Okay, there we go, there we go. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Yeah, let's do that. So now we're making, we should be making these packs. We really want to make the packs. It's a thing we really want to make and we're going to make them. We're definitely going to make them. Okay, nobody gets a bonus here. I think the beavers get a bonus, but I'm not going to move the beavers from, actually I can check on where the beavers are. If there are places, actually they're both woodcutters, woodcutters. There's a beaver somewhere. Or is this lonely beaver? Because we have seven of them. So three at each. Crude workstation. All right. What are they doing here? They're actually happy here. So let's leave them there uh, doing their doing their happy thing. And now we're finally going to get these packs of crops. I'm excited about that. All right. We're going to wait till we get our 15 seconds thing. Okay. Go, go, go. Anything else we want at the trader before she leaves? <laughs> no, I think we're actually okay. I think we're good. Okay, so what's going on with our... Tr Did we set up a trade route? I forgot. No, we didn't. Okay, we were gonna get spices, but I wonder if we ran out of uh, wheat. We might have. Okay, new things. Let's go. 40 luxury goods packs. Nope, not gonna happen, I think. Oh, an education. I don't know. I don't even know how to get that. Ay ay ay. Okay. Wow. Ancient artifact. Cool. Wow. Th plus three to global resolve. That's amazingly cool. Okay. So that's that. Let's just take random peeps. Let's take more beavers because I feel like more beavers would be good. Let's put in... Uh, let's let them finish first. Their packs. Important. Actually, limit on these. Let's have a limit of like... Uh, five, maybe? Sure. Zero. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's take these off. Okay, are they done? Yeah, they're done. Okay, so let's put a beaver in here. They do get a little tiny bonus, I guess, for that. A well-being thing. Trader Sahilda has left. Oh no, oh no. All right. We could use some copper. Do we want to convert some of this? I think we want to convert the the wheat into flour. Uh, but I don't know if we need it right now. Let's see. This place is, I guess it's almost finished with the eggs. This place is full. Okay, we're doing actually pretty good. We need some more housing, though. Let's build some houses. We shall build shelters. One there. Let's kind of build from maybe from this side. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. No, bad, bad. Okay, that should be enough for now. Actually, what I should do is change this and build from the left instead. Let's do that. One, two, and three. Okay, good. What do we got here? We got some jerky. We, do we have enough? We actually do have enough insects, right? We do. Yeah, we could do, we can make this and it would make our people very happy. 
Yeah. All right, let's do that. Let's make people happy. Uh, lizard people like to work here. So do we have any lizards that are underappreciated elsewhere? Let's find out. We have a scavenger's camp where we have lizard only rain collector. Ooh. Eh. How do we have a rain collector with... Okay, we need to fire some people. <laughs> We need a we need a beaver in here. Why? Oh no. Okay, and lizard is gonna be where did we decide here? Yeah, lizard here. Oh yeah, look at this. Much mucho lizards happening here. Okay, we're gonna make a whole bunch of this jerky. I think we're gonna make like a hundred. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so and Worker, human worker is quite happy as well. Where, where did we get all these lizards all of a sudden? I'm very confused by this now. <laughs> okay, we'll put another lizard there. What else is going on here? Flower, we don't need yet. Bricks are good, but we have people making bricks here. Fabric, oh wait, pie. Do we have enough of those things? We do have... Oh, we only have two herbs. Wow. Not enough, alas. Not enough. This is a main project at the moment, I think. And I guess we can leave the rest for building for now. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we can deliver these. Hooray. Let's do it. We get plus one to pack of crops production. That is amazing. Let's get that. Okay, and oh yes, it wants us to pick other things. <laughs> oh god, education, help. All right, let's see what buildings we get. We get a human house. Oh, human house, wow. Supplier can produce fabric, pottery, or trade goods. I think we're going to go with human house. All right, so we haven't built these yet in the series. Um, I think we're going to delete these two shelters and replace them with human houses. Now... The specific houses for each faction, um, they satisfy the needs and they make them happier, but they only hold two people, not three people. So you have to have a lot more of them to make life better. Uh, but that's okay. We have, we have place, we have spots. We have uh, all kinds of spaces. Okay, there we go. And take that there. All right, good. Mildred Goldblower. Oh, we should check names. These names are amazing. Dala Bloodclaw. We have Slithra Amberborn. I think they've been here. No, wait. Slithra Greybone. Um, Colby Riverlog. Aw. Um, and then we have Jiro Snapperlog. Aw, these names are so good. Especially the beaver names. Tyla Bowcrunch. <laughs> You just imagine them chewing on the trees. Lear Barkhide. Ah, Flow River Log. That's a good name. Flow River Log. Mm. Like River Flow Logs. Like, like, yeah, all the things. It's good. It's very good. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do now? I think. I think we actually need some food. Food seems to be lacking here. But we are missing some components, as in, I think we need to get some more herbs. We need probably more farming to happen as well. I feel like we're just not getting enough food. Let's see, we have, we need to get another lizard here in the scavenger's hut. Get some more of that. All right, so what else? Oh yeah, we have this. Yep, of course, of course. I keep clicking on it because it's like shining at me. Uh, these require the herbalist's camp. Again, we only have a few different camps. Not doing that great on camps. But now we have the harvest season, which is kind of great. We have all of this stuff to harvest. And I think we build another farming house. I was kind of waiting for this area to have a... Uh, maybe the, the, the herbalist farm, but it's okay. We're just going to do it anyway. It's going to be fine. And this needs to be moved up. Absolutely moved up here probably and maybe we'll build another farm over here in any case we can get the fields allocated for now all right good still need a brewery or a tavern 
but with these human houses, I think we're going to do well. Also, the, the specialty houses, they cost different items. Like, some of them are planks and fabric. Some of them are obviously planks and bricks. So they do use our specialty items that we produce at the crude workstation. And I'm feeling like maybe we need to have... Oh, scavenger's camp is done. Hooray. That's good. Okay, so... This camp, I really want them to be... Here's some eggs over there. There's eggs over here. There's lots of eggs over here. Let's do the lots of. Leave them there for a bit. So let's see. Food-wise, we have 19 eggs. It's not a lot of eggs, but we are getting the jerky. And jerky makes humans and lizards happy. They're really happy about this. Hooray. This is fantastic. So, all right, they are in the blue zone. We're getting high resolve, hooray. Um, all right, so let's just pick something here. I don't think we're gonna be able to make the luxury goods. Um, do we have anywhere that makes them? Let's check out what they're made from, if we can find it. Flower, stuff, things, more things. Nope, we don't have any luxury goods. How are we doing with uh, stuff? We do actually have four crystallized dew. This is a valuable item, uh, which that's so cool. That perk that we got is amazing. We love it. City buildings, trading post storage, makeshift hearth. Okay. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here. I think we're gonna try the education because it comes with purple things. Yeah. Yeah, that's our answer. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. So, again, luxury goods. If we get jerky, infused tools, city renown. Wow. But this is harvesting crops faster, planting is faster, 60 biscuits. I think this is going to be easier to come up with, maybe. Yeah, we'll pick that. It'll be fine. It will not be fine. We have so many things we can't do right now. <laughs> it's sir, it's very sad and serious and horrible. I, but I think the way to go in this game is definitely to get the resolve high and just get earn stuff because all of these orders are really hard to fill sometimes. Like at the moment, we really need breweries and tavern and ale and things. So yeah, it's kind of rough. But anyway, food is a situation here. I really want to get some food going on. Uh, let's see. Let's make this a priority, please. And here are some human houses. They do look very nice, don't they? They're kind of cool. Ah, yes. Our storm is making us very unhappy. Um, but let's see. Do we have... Okay, plus two. So average bonus is plus two. So affected is two and unaffected is six. So we need to have four houses, four human houses in order to make these people happy. We just got a new building. Hooray, a new card. Yay. Brewery. Oh my God, we got the brewery. Oh, happy days. Happy days. Ooh, luxury goods. Oh, I'm gonna look. Oh, you needed offerings. That's right. We couldn't figure out how to, oh no. Hold on. I don't know. Okay, let's pick the brewery because we need it. And here it goes. Brewery. Do -do -do -do. Goes there. Could put it up here though. It's closer. Oh, you know what? I'll use this area anyway. We'll put it to the side. Whew. Wow, that was cool. That is good that we got this going. Put that one up priority a bit. We got this farm going. Better to have humans there. Okay, veggies and grain. Let's go. Get all the things. We still need to buy those roots because I, I think we don't have any more actually. Yeah, we have no roots. So let's see. These packs that they're making are only roots. So let's fire the beaver. And beaver can do other things now. But yeah, this jerky is such a good item to have because it makes them so much happier. I mean, aside of all the rain. Oh, look at this roof tiles. Oh, that looks really cool. I really love the buildings in this game. I think they're great. Um, some of them are a little bit like, oh, okay. Uh, which one is that again? But other ones are like really, like th this one, the rain collector. It looks so unique. 
I love the colors as well. And I love like the motion of this. I don't know what's happening here. It seems like a magical water wheel, but I guess it's not magic because I mean the rain's falling on it. So it's got to be working. And then the shelters, you can definitely tell there's shelters. Um, and most of the buildings look absolutely unique. Like, and they look kind of crazy cool when they're working as well. I mean, obviously those are not working at the moment. What are these? Okay, we're not going to ask what they're doing in that field right over there. It's fine. But yeah, everything looks so good in this game. I really like it. I like, I like the detail. Okay, we have new people. We have new all the things. So we're going to click trading. Does she have roots? Yes, she does. Okay, what else does she have? Trapper's camp. Oh my gosh, that would be nice for those meat things. We also have plus one to grain production and fabric. Okay. Fabric production is amazing. Uh, but let's see. Grain production would be good. But we re really need those roots. We definitely need the roots. She doesn't take those crystallized thingy majingies. That is unfortunate. Um, let's see. Do want to give her all of those? Um, what can we give her? Uh, maybe bricks? Maybe uh, she doesn't want bricks. Nope. <laughs> doesn't want the bricks. Uh, yeah, yeah. I also wanted to trade for some amber to maybe get this one, but it's not really working very well here. Fabric production would be kind of good. Let's see. What are we doing with fabric production? We get two fabric for every six plant fibers. And right now, I don't think we're actually collecting plant fiber. We probably need to. Because, what is this? Um, scavenger's camp. Where is that? I think we had one somewhere. This is our stone cutter's camp. It was here. <laughs> it was here. I lost it. <laughs> okay, let's look this way. I think this is the easiest way to find it. Is click on. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Smokehouse, rain collector, scavenger's camp. There it is over here. Okay, so our scavenger's camp is... Ah, it's getting these things. It's getting these giant... Oh, it's getting these eggs. That's right. All right. But we do need the plant fiber. These eggs are giving us plus meat, so that's also good. But having these would give us clay as well as things. I think we need the fabric. Do we need it? Maybe. Okay, we, oh god, we can't even trade this crystallized dew. It's so valuable and yet we can't trade it. We have a little bit of fabric, but not much. We have a little bit of plant fiber. Eh, I think we build another scavenger's camp. I think that's the idea here, or the solution. Because we can always also convert it to food production with getting those, uh, those eggs. We have so many eggs. Let's see, let's move this there okay very good oh they're actually generating some plant fiber as well that's nice we probably also need to break into more of these sections over there we have a lot going on here okay let's leave it at having two builders and i think that's good all right so cornerstone what do we got here mushroom production is increased that would have been a good one to have before Amber for packs of trade goods. Oh, we're not even making trade goods, are we? Let's see. Do we have a building that makes trade goods? Oops. Wanna just check this? Mm, nope, we don't. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I guess the pottery might be good i don't know this is really rough because we haven't been able to trade this pottery we just have 200 pottery and it's like she doesn't want it she's like nope sorry not a thing i accept it is not acceptable let's take these beavers and yeah that wasn't good all right we got stuff going on we have people happy so we're gonna we're getting 0.33 per minute so that's great it's absolutely great 
It might be time to actually set up more plank production. Do we have enough wood? We do. Okay, so we can actually set up planks if one of our other buildings... Aha, these do. Aha, this is perfect. So let's see. We don't need tools yet, and we could do flour. I might as well. Let's set that up for 80 flour and then have a limit on planks of like, I don't know, 30 or something. Yeah, let's do that. All right, the trader has left, hooray. And we have lots of employees waiting to do stuffs. Go through there, there, there. I think we're doing okay. It might be worthwhile to... Oh, 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 brewery's open. Oh my god, this is good. Okay, never mind about the flower. We don't want to do that anymore. Pardon us. We want to get the brewery going. We have 52 grain and we're going to do ale right now. We're not going to do wine because we don't have a berry gatherer. We have berries, but we don't have the berry gatherer. So that's an herbalist's camp, which we don't have access to. Uh, who likes to work in a brewery? Let's find out. Anybody? Humans seem to work out pretty good. Okay, so we are now going to get some beer. Now then, we did get some roots, I think. Did we buy roots? We did not. Or we didn't. Something happened. We Did we? Oh, I bet we didn't buy the roots. Yeah, because we didn't find anything to trade it for. I guess we need just more lumber, perhaps. Uh, let's see. We need to get some of these trees cleared as well. And I'm really hoping that this is going to be finished soonish. I guess they finished all of the stone, so we could move this building. Let's just move it here. So it's closer. They don't have to walk as far to deliver stuff. Go here, maybe. Oh, we have another card. Oh. Oh, tavern. But you know what? If we... Ah, we need to get our 40 ale, and then I think we get a free tavern. I'm pretty sure. Let's look at this happy brewing thing. Yeah, we get a free tavern from that. Do we want it early? You know what? I'm going to take the beaver house. Beaver house is good. Beaver house is great because it will make them happy. Happy, happy. Good joy happening. Let's go. Global resolve. We shall beat the forest and all the things. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Going. Going along. This is good. Okay. We didn't get much from that little area. All right. Kind of tempted to open up one of those like dangerous zones, but then I know the danger. It is so like really bad. Really, really bad. Usually. So global resolve is really, really high. I think. Ooh. Oh, insects, veggies, and grain. And this one has berries. Ooh, that's nice. Herbs, berries, and mushrooms. You know what? I'm going to take it. We're going to take that one. Oh, wait. We need lizards here. Lizard, go, 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 go. And maybe we get another one there. I don't know. But I do want to build a camp gathering these berries. So there we go. Mushrooms and berries. So this one can actually be over here, potentially. But they're going to have to walk around the forest to gather these things. Let's see what else we got. There's berries up there. There's berries there. I was looking for berries plus mushrooms, but it doesn't look like we have both of them unless it's over here. You know what? I'll take this berries plus mushrooms and maybe we'll build a... You know what? They can walk around. It's okay. It's a nice walk around the forest because they don't walk through the forest. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. And by the way, if you are enjoying the content, I would appreciate if you would click that little subscribe button because it helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, it's kind of great. Uh, also, if you liked the video or didn't like, I would encourage you to click either of those thumbs up or thumbs down buttons. Um, because interaction is great. And if you have something to say about it, 
and <laughs> leave me a comment. Sorry, I'm trying not to say the whole like subscribe, like, comment because I hate when people do that. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and have enjoyed just watching in general. Oh gosh, we have to move that lumber camp. You know what? Let's move it right now. Um, and yeah, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this game, of this video, all of the things. Tell me everything. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.